This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is version management. So the topics that we are going to cover they are the advantages of using version management. The advantages of using version management. We'll understand why we need to use version management. How to use version management in purchasing, how it is used, we'll see. Activation of version management for purchase requisition. So for PRs, how you will activate. And also activation of version management for purchasing documents like purchase orders, uh, RFQs, uh, all those kind of purchasing documents. The possible set customizing settings for version, ma version management in purchasing. So what are the configuration settings we need to do for this version management? We will understand in the system. Okay. So we will be covering these topics in the in the version management. Okay. So first we'll start with version management. Okay. Version management, version management is the function to generate versions of purchase requisitions and external pur purchasing documents. So basically what happens is uh, in the purchasing, normally once you create a purchase requisition or purchase orders, you may be ask to change some data in the in the purchasing documents like let's say you created a purchase order for 100 quantity okay yeah. then the vendor says uh, now i cannot deliver 100 i can deliver only for 50 only 50 then you are asked to change the purchase order okay suppose let's say a, a concern department created a purchase requisition for a quantity of let's say 200 okay and then he puts the delivery dates, his requirement date as let's say one week. Then that purchase requisition come to purchasing department. Then the purchase officer check with the vendor. Vendor says, I cannot deliver in one week. I can deliver only after one month. Then you will ask the concerned department to change the purchase requisition, delivery date in the requested delivery date in the purchase. So due to various reasons, the purchasing documents will undergo some changes. So if you want to track those changes then you have to use this version management okay a version represents a collection of change documents generated through the further processing of an existing purchase requisition or purchasing document. that's what i just explained so after creating the these documents whatever the changes you do if you want to track those things you have to use version version management okay the version indicates the status of such a document and extends any previously existing change documents. So there will be a version. Suppose let's say when you create initially, the version will be zero. After that, if you make any changes, the version will become one. After that, again, you will make any changes, the version will become two. So like this, it will go on. So in those versions, you can see all the changes happened. Okay, so that is the version manual. So now we will talk about advantages of version management. Okay, so basically the version management provides the following advantages for procurement. One is you can easily track the changes. So you have the option of tracking the changes at any time. At any time, you can check the data that is transmitted to the vendor. So also once you create purchase order, normally you send the data to the vendor that you can track. Communication with the vendor is easier. The moment you make a change, you can trigger a uh, output to the vendor. Okay, so the, your communication will become easy. You can refer to a certain version of a purchase order when speaking to a vendor, vendor's representative on the phone. So let's say you created a purchase order, you send it to the vendor, then he asked about, he asked, he asked, he has asked for some changes. Then before making the changes, you can refer to the older version. The data okay so that option is available the system documents the changes to the long text also i will show you this in the system so if you have version management if you make any changes to the long text those also you can track without version management you cannot track changes to the long text so if you don't have version management you cannot track the long text changes i will show you this in the system version management also enables you to compare different versions of the text 
so you can compare the text also so these are the advantages of using the version management okay now we will talk about settings for version management so so for the version management these are the settings you need to carry out so for the purchase requisitions if you want to have version management for purchase requisitions you need to activate that at document type level i will show you this in the system okay whereas version management for purchasing documents like purchase order request for quotation okay for those things you have to activate for each combination of document category document type and purchase organization okay so this activation you have to do i will show all these things in the system define reasons for change you have the option of uh, uh, maintaining some reasons for change i will show you this set up change displays how to do you want to display set up, that you will set up and version relevant fields for purchase requisition. so you, you you have the option in the system when you change a particular field then only the versions will become active versions will get created so for which fields you want to have the versions that also you can do that okay so these are the settings you need to do in the system okay so let me open a notepad file so for purchase requisitions it's very simple for purchase requisitions only you for the criteria is document type that's all the document type level whereas purchasing documents like purchase orders those things example purchase order so these things if you want to act if you want to activate version management the 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 criteria is first is document category document category plus plus document type document type plus purchase order purchase organization so for these three combination you have to act okay whereas purchase requisition just document okay so so first we'll start with the version management in purchase requisition so how the version management is activated in the purchase requisitions how it works we will see okay so basically once you activate the purchase uh, version management in purchase requisition the moment you make any changes okay suppose let's say the initial quantity was 90 when you create a purchase requisition then you made a change to uh, you revise the quantity from 90 to 100 just for example then there will be a version then there will be a version created when you when you create the purchase requisition initially there will be initial version with zero with zero and the moment you make some changes the version will become one the version will become one okay and all those versions you can see by using these buttons i will show you this in the system okay so first let's uh, go to the system okay let me log into the s4 on my system <coughs> okay go to go to spr go to sap reference img okay scroll down go to materials management okay go to purchasing okay here here you see there is a work management node is there okay open this okay here set up version management for purchase requisition okay if you go there okay as of now it is activated for document type nb suppose if you see when you create a purchase requisition suppose when i go to me 51 n we use a document type nb so as of now this is activated for nb okay but i don't want to change the uh, settings for the existing one what i will do i'll create first i'll create a custom purchase requisition document type so let me 